Hello friends, Techman Pat here. Today we've got a tutorial for you for the 3CX phone system. This is the pro version that allows you to integrate with Microsoft 365. So strap in and today we're gonna jump into the computer, hopefully a quick video, show you how you can integrate Microsoft 365, the entire suite, into 3CX's pro setup. Let's get started by rolling the intro. So Microsoft 365, you're using that for your business and now you're setting up a cloud-based telephony system from 3CX. So it's time to integrate the two for a few reasons. What we've got here today is actually really, really cool. It allows you to sync user accounts from Microsoft 365 or the Azure Active Directory and of course also local Active Directory that's synced in the cloud using Azure Connect. That's actually very peculiar, a great feature. It allows users to have their own Microsoft account to log into the 3CX web client, basically SSO via Azure. Then users' personal contacts are synced up with the personal phone book in 3CX. The shared mailbox contacts are synced up with 3CX company directory system and the 3CX profile status is changed based on the Microsoft calendar. So if you're unavailable in a meeting and your Microsoft calendar is up to date, then 3CX will set you as busy on the phone system. Now to do this, it requires Microsoft's 365 accounts with Exchange subscription plan. There is also a Teams integration. The 3CX Enterprise Edition for 16 SIM calls and above offers team direct routing integration within Teams. It lets users be called by 3CX users and Teams users to make outbound calls via 3CX. And again, it does require the Microsoft 365 E5 subscription plan or the Microsoft Teams Plus Microsoft phone system add-on for those team users that wish to call or be called. There is a different guide for that, but today we're doing the 365 integration. I expect that if you're setting this up, you already have that set up, but we won't talk about how to put in your credit card and you already have the 3CX Pro Cloud Telephony System also logged in and ready to go. So that's where we're gonna start off at the dashboard. Let's tap into admin. Then on here, tap into M console and it's gonna open a new page. This is actually your backend dashboard for the 3CX system. Then we're going to go down to settings and we're gonna choose the integration Microsoft 365. Just tap into that. Next step, we're gonna click on provision Microsoft 365 access. It's gonna open up a connection wizard. Now in another tab, I've actually already logged into my Microsoft 365 admin center, just in case. I'll quickly refresh to make sure that I'm still logged in and I'll go back to the tab with this page right here. So next step, Really simple, let's press connect and tick all these right here. A window will pop up to ask you to sign into your account. We can just press sign in if we've already signed in or you're gonna have to put your details in. Now, we need to give it consent to connect all these things like read and write, manage permissions, grant permissions and so on. We'll just go consent on behalf of organization, click accept. Of course, to make this happen, you have to be administrator on both systems. So this cannot be done by just a general employee. They need the right permissions. Once completed, the window will disappear by itself. And congratulations, you're connected. So we're gonna click back. Now that it's complete, we're back on this page. We can now tick the Sync Microsoft 365 users with 3CX extension. We're gonna select all users by default, and then we're gonna sync Microsoft Office 365 users Office phone to extension outbound caller ID. We can also sync the user photos just in case people are adding their own photos in there. Now you can set the starting extension numbers right here if you tick this box and type in a number, but if you wanted to use the default 3CX, you can leave it blank. The synchronization is one way and it happens every night or once per day. So for example, if you wanna remove somebody and you don't delete them in Microsoft 365, it will actually reappear in 3CX the next day. Next, we're gonna to go to the sign in tab. And in here, we're gonna tick administrator sign in and we're gonna add user and we're gonna add ourselves. As you can see, the sync is working and we're bringing through users from Microsoft 365. Tick my name, press okay. And we're gonna tick on user sign in. And again, 
it'll bring through the users that exist. In this case, I'm doing it via demo. There's no users for me. Now, next tab is contact sync. And again, same idea. Tick the sync button right here. And of course, tick the sync button here for the mailbox connection and company phone. And the, probably the best feature is the calendar one. Make sure it's ticked as yes to sync. That way you can see if people are busy or out of office when there is a different calendar event in Microsoft. Once all that is ticked, you can press OK and you're done. 3CX Pro is now fully synchronized with Microsoft 365. Now, if we go back to users, you can see there are two people here. We've got synced with Microsoft 365, and this is me as a user, and this is me as an administrator. And that's how easy it is to set up 3CX Pro with the Microsoft 365 synchronization integration. Big thanks to 3CX for sponsoring this video. Of course, links below where you can check out other services from 3CX, the Pro plan isn't actually the only one they have, they have other options and of course check the links below for the other videos we did about the platform and stay tuned for more videos about the 3CX phone system. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you all in another one. Bye!